Now we're going to take another look at Alec Baldwin. He's back in the news for responding to a protester who's kind of hassling him in a, well, apparently he's having breakfast or something. We're going to dissect the body language and the behaviors, and you're going to tell us what you think in the comments. Alec, can you please stay free Palestine one time? Why did you kill that lady? You killed that lady and got no jail time? No jail time, Alec? No jail time, Alec. You're putting innocent people in jail, Alec Baldwin. I'm so sorry. Free Palestine, Alec, just one time, and I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone, I swear. Just say free Palestine one time. One time. One time. One time, Alec. You know you know he's a criminal. Come on, Alec, just say free Palestine one time. One time, just one time, please. And I'll leave you alone. Free Palestine. Please say it. One time. All right, Mark, what do you got? Uh, yeah, so this is a classic example of being badgered. Why being badgered? Uh, because one of the ways that you attract a badger is to bait them. So he's being baited with an idea. The the key is, is, is he going to fall for that bait? Because when you're baited, somebody wants you to grab onto that hook and take the hook. Does he take the hook? Here's what happens here is there's a conflation between free Palestine and did you kill that lady? The two things are not connected, but they're being connected in time. And then a whole bunch of other things are being connected just by the time. That's obviously, you know, riling for him, but he does remain quite calm and in control. So this person badgers him some more with with a logical fallacy that we call ad nauseum. Basically, she's saying the same thing again and again and again and again so that you will submit. You all have experienced that with all kinds of people trying to debate you or argue you. They just say the same thing again and again and again in the hope that you will give up. But actually, he stays pretty calm and in control. She keeps going with the ad nauseum. And frankly, in the end, he doesn't keep his calm. He doesn't keep his control because he is physical. He knocks the phone out of her hand. That's property. And so, and and he probably has to physically touch her at some point. So, you know, what would I say? He does lose control in the end, but under the circumstances of a device that's designed to cause people to lose control. Chase, what do you got on this one? I don't think most people will get what you just said at the end there. I hope they do. Uh, if if you take politics out of this, if if you want someone to suffer because they don't agree with your politics, you're a bad person to begin with. You shouldn't be thinking that. But he's been through a lot. And if you could imagine, uh, if he didn't do all this stuff that happened on purpose, he has been through an emotional thing that most of us cannot imagine. And for this person to start saying something like that is borderline psychopathic to be able to do this. And I'm not even going to talk about Alec Baldwin's behavior. It looks normal like somebody who's being harassed. But here's what I want you to consider. Imagine how insufferable you have to be in order to get a gazillion conservatives to side with Alec Baldwin on the Internet. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Scott, what do you got? <laughs> yeah, I want to get a gazillion in one because I'm with him on this one as well. Yeah, that wasn't cool, man. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. You're right. This he's he's this is torture for him. But I think he I I but I think as he goes along, he's planning what he's gonna do. I think he's deciding what's because he tries everything. He goes through all of it. And I think it'd be hard to blame him for losing his cool a little bit a bit there at the end. So I I I agree with you. And especially bringing up something like that and adding those two things together, like you're talking about, Mark. Holy smokes, man. You're you're asking for it at that point, which of course she is because she wants to have something on video because that's the way it's done these days. If it's not, people aren't hollering at you and the, everything's blowing up in there, then it's something like this. Somebody aggravating somebody and making them mad, somebody that that's famous. That's it's you're, you're right, Chase. That's almost psychopathic. That's that that's totally uncool. Greg, what do you got? What we see a lot of times with folks like this is social pressure to win an argument. Like, say, Chase and I are in an argument. I turn to Mark and stop arguing with Chase and start 
bringing Mark into the argument and create social pressure. And so a lot of these people you'll see doing that. Mark, I agree with you. She is badgering. If he had said free Palestine, she would have then said, what about the girl you killed? What about people you put? She's just after reaction from him, and he's notorious for reacting. We all know that. He's punched reporters and done that kind of thing. You would think she would be smarter than poking him as opposed to poking you know, a guy who might just sit it out. But she isn't, and her, she's after, I agree with you all, she's after that 15 minutes of fame that she's going to get from showing this video. And I think, I agree with you, Chase, very few people could accomplish what she's just done. He shows restraint. You see disgust and contempt in his face. He turns, he walks off, he gets wooden, he tries to get away, he comes back, and then he feigns like he's really asking for help. I love that. And then slap, knocks the phone out of her hand. Could have been worse. Could have been something else he knocked out. That's all I got. All right. All right, fellas. I think it was a short one, but a good one. We'll see you next time. That sounded weird. Short one, but a good <laughs> short one. one, but a good one. With the Hail Your Panel.